These are the U2 or the U Try It problems on page seven of your notes. And the hope is that you've attempted these and you're now just checking your answers. Or if you got stuck, this will kind of help you out. For problem A on page seven, um, the first one is 10 to the X equals five. We're dealing with an exponent. And to undo an exponent or an exponential, we use logarithms. So I'm going to start out with log. And then the base of the exponent, again, looking at the exponent here, the base of it becomes the base of the logarithm. The argument of the logarithm is 5. And what a logarithm is equal to is always the power of the exponent. So this is an exact answer, all right? So we've got it written like this, or because it's the common logarithm, you could just write log of five is equal to x. And it's understood that if the base isn't written in, it's base 10 automatically. You can take a look on your calculator. Let me see if I can pull mine up here. When I see this LOG on my calculator, notice right above it, it's 10 to the X. The base of the exponent is 10. The base of the logarithm here is also base 10. But I don't have to write in the little 10 here. Same with this. Now, if I want a decimal approximation to it, all right, so I just hit log. It's already base 10 of 5. And that's the decimal approximation for it. Now, it is asking for you to round your answer to the thousandths place. So that means we're looking for three decimal, a three decimal answer. So we look to the fourth decimal place. If it's five or higher, we round up. So for this one, our decimal approximation is going to be about 0.699. For B, all right, so I've got an exponential here, the variable's up in the exponent. So ultimately, at some point, I'm going to be using a logarithm to solve this. But before I do that, I need to get the exponential by itself completely. So I'm going to go back to, you know, can I add or subtract something away from it first? Well, I have a plus 7. I can take away 7 from both sides. And that's 2 times e to the x is equal to 8. So to get rid of the 2 in front, since it's hooked by a multiplication, we undo it with division. And now we want to undo the exponential. Well, the thing that undoes exponentials are logarithms. So I'm going to start out with log base e, and I'm going to fix that in just a minute, of 4 equals the power. Log base e, we have another name for that. And again, if you take a look at your calculator, let's move this over here, um, where I see e to the x, the logarithm that I'm dealing with is ln, or natural log. So instead of saying log base e, I'm just going to call it natural log of 4 is equal to x. This is my exact answer. And then for my decimal approximation, I'm going to type in the natural log of 4. And again, we're looking for three decimal places. So I look to the fourth. It's just the number 2. So at this point, it's just going to be 1.386. For letter C, All right, so this one's a little bit different. It's 12 plus, and now I've got log base 4 of x equals 15. Once again, I'm trying to get the 
variable by itself, and if I can add or subtract something away from that term, I'll want to do so. And in this case, you can subtract 12 from both sides of the equation. So I have log base 4 of x equals 3. To solve a log equation, ultimately we need an exponent or an exponential to help us out. And so we're going to start again kind of in the opposite direction of what we were doing here. Notice we had an exponent, we rewrote it as a logarithm. Now we're going to take a logarithm and rewrite it as an exponent. So I'm going to take my base of 4, that was the base of the logarithm, that becomes the base of my exponent. The power is 3, it's equal to x. And then 4 to the third power happens to work out to 64. Okay. 4 page 8. All right. and once again, we have a logarithm question for letter D. So 3 plus the natural log of x plus 2 equals 5. So again, if you can add or subtract something away from the logarithm, you'll want to do that first. So I can subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. And again, we're, we're left with a logarithm so we're always looking to see what will undo what we have. Notice here I had addition, so to undo addition, we subtracted. Now I have a logarithm, so to undo a logarithm, I need an exponential. So I have to recognize what's the base of the natural log function. Well, again, you really got it on your calculator here. Take a look at the natural log function on your calculator. The base of the exponent right above that key is e. So the base of my exponent is going to be e. The power on the other side of the logarithm is 2 equals x plus 2. You're trying to solve for x, so get rid of the plus 2 by, again, subtracting 2. So I have x equals e squared minus 2. And again, this is my exact answer. My decimal approximation is going to require the calculator here. I need to find out what e to the 2 power is. So I've got a couple of ways to do that. Probably the quickest way is, again, looking above the natural log key, there's e to the power. So to get to that, I do second and then natural log. And now it's waiting for me to type in the power, and then minus 2. So my x comes up about 5.389. Again, look at the fourth digit to determine whether you need to round or not, and in this case we don't because it's 0. So it's just going to be 5.389. Approximately. I'll try one more here. I have 3 minus log x equals 6. Okay. I need to get rid of the 3 in front, try to get the logarithm completely by itself, so take away 3. Bring down the minus with the logarithm. That's like a negative 1 times log x. So I still need to get rid of that negative 1 in front of the logarithm. I can divide both sides by negative 1. Because negative 1 divided by negative 1 cancels out to positive 1. Log x equals negative 3. I have a logarithm, so I've got to think what undoes a logarithm. 
and that would be the exponential. So I need to write an exponent. I've got to figure out what the base is. And the base, when it's not seen on a log function, is the common log base 10. And again, take a look at your calculator. You got the LOG button, and right above it is 10 to the x. That's your common logarithm. That's your common or your your base for your exponential. So it's 10 to the negative 3 equals x. Now we can simplify this a little bit because remember we're not keen on negative exponents. So think about this. Drop 10 to the negative 3 down below the line. We did this with our laws of exponents. And then 10 to the third we can write up as and that's your value for x.